Real estate investment trust is a more affordable way to invest in real estate. You can actually invest with as little as $50 or, or $100. In this video, I'm going to break down what REITs are and how they work. Blazers. If you're new here, welcome to the family. My name is Pamela and I inspire you to create and manifest the life of your greatest dream. So thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me. I heard about REITs about a year ago when I was researching on investment opportunities for our business, Ariel and Ivy. If you don't know what REITs are, they are real estate investment trusts. REITs are companies that owns, operates, or finances income generating real estate like retail buildings, apartment complexes, and much more. REITs were created by Congress in 1960 so that the community can benefit from investing in income producing real estate. This is like owning a stock in a dividend paying company. The shareholders get paid from income generated from the, the um, property. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I am in no way, shape or form a financial advisor, okay? I'm just a curious human, a curious woman, the curious case of Pamela. Stop, Pam. Okay, I'm just a curious woman who is going to become a billionaire. Okay, I am a billionaire and also hit the like button because it helps this channel a lot and tells the YouTube gods that we deserve to grow. So please hit the like. Help, help a sister out now, eh? Please. Thank you. Grazie. REITs can be divided into two. Equity REITs or mortgage REITs. Properties classified under equity REITs are places like hotels, offices, shopping centers, etc, etc. Money is made via rents of those properties and when the tenants pay rent, then the corporation pays their shareholders dividends. Properties under mortgage rates are usually commercial and residential and they earn money by the interest rates levied on the mortgage. So what happens is a mortgage company buys the mortgage from the bank and then whatever interest they get, that is given to their shareholders as dividends. So mortgage rates don't directly own real estate, okay? They don't directly own real, real estate. They own the mortgage that is tied to the real estate. REITs can be publicly traded and listed on the stock exchange or publicly traded and not listed on the, on the stock exchange. And also they can be privately held. My advice is to start with investing in the publicly traded and list and the ones listed on stock exchange because I think they are better regulated. That's what I feel. And I think the publicly traded REITs that are not listed are actually expensive to get into. I, I was I was doing some research and I saw that some of them were actually to bring up like $25,000 to invest and they want you to have a particular net worth. So it's better for you to go by the ones on the stock exchange. The most important advantage of REITs is being able to invest in real estate without having to go out to buy and manage buildings. Like if you want to get into real estate, this is like a beginner version, a way to like test the waters. This is amazing like it's amazing if you're interested in building wealth via real estate and you don't have the money to you know buy that big apartment complex that big you know mall you just invest in REITs and get get paid when the the tenants you know pay their rent I made a video discussing how to build wealth while in debt. I'm going to link it up in the cards above, so make sure you go watch it. You may be wondering, 
what do REITs do to make money? This is the way it works, okay? You collect rent from your tenants, thereby generating income, which you then have to pay to your shareholders as dividends. REITs must pay 90% of their taxable income to their shareholders, and in turn, the shareholders pay income taxes. I'll think of it this way. Mr. Agent wants to invest in buildings, but doesn't have money to buy these buildings. So he sets up a REIT corporation where different people can pull in their money together and then he buys the property and manages it, goes through the stress of, you know, collecting rent and managing the building, you know, answering the call when people are like, oh my God, my electricity is out. There's a wire wrong. He goes through all that shit while, you, while the shareholders are at home sipping margaritas. And then he pays his investors when they've paid their rents and all that, okay? He pays them in the form of dividends. And also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on videos like this, okay? That inspires you. You don't miss out on the dropation of videos like this that teaches you how to create the life of your dreams, okay? Hit the subscribe button and please enable the notification bell. Thank you. You may be wondering, why should I invest in REITs? Well, think about it. Shelter is a, is a must for our survival, okay? We need homes, we need offices for work and also to survive. Even if the housing market falls because of a recession, it will rise again in the nearest future. This is a long-term game though. It's a long-term game and could be a way to create passive income okay make money while you snooze isn't that isn't that the game isn't that the goal okay i'm sleeping oh she made money love it according to some research done by narrate investors benefit from strong reliable annual dividend payout and put and the potential for long-term capital appreciation and also type in the comment right section right now read R-E-I-T, read, just type it in, okay? So, how can you invest in this? Hmm. You can actually invest through the stock exchange. This is what I would advise for beginners. Now, if you're a high net worth individual, well, if you have so much money, I would rather invest in regular, you know, real estate. But REITs, are, for me, REITs are beginner, like a beginner version of investing in real estate. So you can invest through the stock exchange if the company is listed on there. You can also invest through REITs mutual funds or exchange traded funds. Here are some REITs ETFs I actually found on Robinhood. You have um, Real Estate Select SPDR Fund. Fidelity MSCI Real Estate ETF, iShares Dow Jones US Real Estate ETF, and SPDR Dow Jones REIT ETFs. I have a link down below for you to sign up for um, Robinhood if you don't have Robinhood. I get a little kickback, okay, to help with the equipment in the studio. So um, please use my link, okay? Grazie, you're amazing. There, there's more to read, okay? I advise doing your own research, speaking to a financial advisor, and um, finding out which ETF or which mutual fund is right for you. I appreciate you spending your time with me and also smash the like button and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on videos like this that inspires you to change your life and manifest the life of your dreams please send this video to all your friends your fans your family even your enemies help their destiny send it to them so they can learn more about reads and i suggest watching this video over here to gain some more value. Until next time, ciao.